Hi guys, Maria Mackis of Mackis Homes with Keller Williams Experience here today with Lynn. Hi, Hi Lynn Banks, General Manager of Country House in Clarendon Hills. And Thanks for coming today. Thanks we really for having appreciate us. It. Thank you. So I have to say this place does not only have awesome burgers, Woo, baby. but it is also haunted. So I have to tell you, I live a block away, or maybe two, two blocks away, and the smells from this place haunt our house almost every night, Lynn. That's what we do to yeah. encourage people to come in on more Thank often. You. It's the trick. So tell us about the ghosts. Well, as you know, we're known for our burgers. Um, back in the uh, 1974, they bought the place and turned it into Country House. And they had to keep the original frame in the building to keep the liquor license. So once they remodeled inside and outside, weird things started happening. We used to have shutters on all the windows. And one Sunday morning, the owner and one of the carpenters was here. Just as they went behind the bar, all the shutters opened at the same time. They checked it out, couldn't find an explanation for it. We had a uh, police officer from Clarendon Hills living upstairs for a while. He'd hear footsteps in the middle of the night. He'd come out with his gun drawn thinking somebody broke in and never found anybody. So they had a friend of the owners was Rich Crow. They had him come out and he came in with some psychics that he knew and they did whatever they do. They said, we definitely have a spirit. It was a woman and she didn't die here, but she died near here. And something about 1950s and unrequited love with a bartender. Those bartenders. Yeah, they're kind of notorious. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've had different experiences around here. We've had a handyman that saw her and could describe her as a blonde with a light blue dress fitted to the waist, gathered skirt, no legs, no feet. Oh. Now this was four o'clock in the morning, but right. he wasn't drinking, I swear. All right, so you're comfortable staying here alone at night? Um, I tend to keep somebody else in the building with me at all <laughs> I times. I would too. I'm a big chicken. I don't want to see her, but uh, I have seen flashlights go off and on in response to questions when we had an investigative group in here. They had those mini mag flashlights and they put one on each side of the bar. It's three o'clock in the morning. They start asking questions and they're like, are you a woman? If you are, could you please turn on the light? Boom. Flashlight goes on. They're like, thank you. You can turn it off now. Off it goes. Oh, and wow. this is, goes on for an hour or so in response to questions. Sometimes wow. it didn't come on if it was a no answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'd be scared to stay alone too. Yeah. So tell us about your burger. This, this looks is, amazing. This is our regular country burger. It's a half pound. It comes with your choice of side. In this case, we brought you half fries, half onion rings. Um, you get your choice of cheese, onions, bread, and um, we also have, besides the regular country burger that we've been voted number one in the area, thank you to all of our patrons um, for many years, but we also have a buffalo burger, an elk burger, a top drawer burger, which is top ends, you know, short rib and yeah. top ends of meat, but we also have a vegetable burger and a turkey burger. And we also do gluten-free buns from Sweet Alley's in Hinsdale. So for those with gluten allergies, we can accommodate some things for you. Tell me about the Savannah plates. Oh, Savannah That's my shrimp. favorite. It is a great appetizer. It's very unique. Um, it's a New Orleans-style barbecue shrimp. It's got butter and spices, and it's served with French bread. It's amazing. Um, I had originally tried it in Savannah, I mean in New Orleans, never could find it up here and got the recipe from a oh, chef in so Savannah, good. Georgia. It's so great. Good. And then another secret item is a uh, bartender steak sandwich. There's the bartenders again. But mm -hmm. you have to ask for it. It's our five ounce filet, butterflied on garlic bread with cheese, mushrooms, and onions. And then we also have some awesome salads and a great yes, pasta. Yes, you do. You do for those days. We can't eat the carbs. The salads are amazing. Go for the, my, I think one of my favorites is the chicken cashew. It's got broiled chicken, cashews, Granny Smith apples, Swiss cheese, and a poppy seed dressing. It's amazing. All right. When I eat this really quick, can we blame the ghost that sure. she came and Just ate it? Sure. Just pretend it disappeared by her, her uh, will. All right. Well, thank you, Lynn. Thank you so much. Thank and you. I hope to see everybody here. It's Halloween season. It's actually the best place to come all the time. So, oh, happy before Halloween. I forget, 
for Halloween, you should come and have the pumpkin bread pudding with cinnamon oh, yeah, ice cream. cream. That. Yes, and yes. It's served from now until Christmas. People start asking for it in September, and we've had it the last five years. So Lynn, you promised sauce. me a slice of that for we'll today. We'll get it when we're done, okay? All right. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. Come see us.